Yeah, thank you for well. Okay, great. So, how's your weekend going, Andy? Uh, I stay at home and did my homework. Oh, wow, nice. It's good because you're keeping yourself busy this weekend. Okay, so Andy, um, today we will continue our class in Unit 4A. Oh, okay, okay, so this is all about um, vocabulary and word skills. We will be learning types of homes, parts of a house and garden, describing houses and rooms, compound nouns, and in the house. We are going to use the verb do, make, and take to. Okay, so let's just have a quick review. So last lesson, I think that was last week, last, last week. Okay, we've learned the words from our vocabulary. Attic, balcony, basement, Okay, cellar. Oh, we're not yet done with cellar, right? Yes. Okay, so do you have your book with you, Andy? Uh, no, I cannot find it. Okay, but it's all right. But can you see the screen on? But can you see the book on the screen? Uh, yes, I can see it. Okay, so are you ready to continue? Uh, yes, I'm ready. Nice. Okay, so in here, please look, listen, and repeat. Cellar. Cellar. Nice. Okay, do you have a cellar at home, Andy? No, but uh, I don't have a cellar at home, but I have, uh, but we, uh, in our buildings, uh, we have a cellar in, uh, in downstairs. Yes, that's right. Cellar is usually the basement of the building. Okay, great. Now next we have here. Conservatory. Conservatory. Okay, so a conservatory looks like this. It is like a living room, but um, a certain place where you do your work. Yes. Do you have a place in your home that is called conservatory? Uh, no. Okay, so what, which place in China, Andre, I, Andy, where you can see conservatory? Uh, in our, uh, in, uh, in our limit. Oh, nice. Okay. So do you also know, Andy, that once we say conservatory, this is a specific room for growing plants? Oh, uh, yes, I know because that's, uh, uh, the sunshine will come in because it is glass. Yes, exactly. Okay. Now next we have here. Extension. Extension. Uh, Jiro, uh, what is mere extension? Okay, so when we say extension, it is another part of the house, but not the main house because it is extension. Let's just say that you've extended your house. That means the space of your house has wider space than the original house. So for example, how do I say this? Okay, I'm going to make a line. So this is an original line. Okay, but if I will say, okay, I want to have an extension of that line. So that means I'm going to make it longer. This is extension. Oh, so, so the extension is, uh, so it's like a, a warehouse? Not really warehouse because when we say warehouse, this is the, this is a place where we play, where we store the equipments or the products, okay. But in extension, it's this. We can still have an extension at the house. Let's say with your kitchen. Since the kitchen is so small, the space of the kitchen is so small, then you can say, "Oh, I want to have an extension with my kitchen." So that means you're making the space of your kitchen a little wider by extending. Okay. Yes. So in Chinese, this is extension. Huh? Huh? I think that is. Uh, you think extension is a building? 
yes, we can describe um, another building as an extension. When we say extension ND, it could be um, land, space of a building, space of the house, another building, as long as it undergoes the process of extending, making it bigger or creating something oh. new. So, uh, so the extension have uh, has a lot of a lot of meaning. No. Okay. So extension only has one meaning. That means the action of extending something. Oh, okay. Okay, I know. I know it, it only now. has one meaning, but it is not only for building. Okay, I know it now. Yes, even with the land, with the house, or what else? Extension of deadline. We can still apply extension with different things. Oh, okay. So that is mean to be more bigger? Exactly. Okay, I know it now. Yeah, to make it more wider. So now, Andy, do you have any question about cellar, conservatory, and extension? Uh, yes, I know now. Okay, now next we have in here, please look, listen, and repeat. Hold on. Okay. Oh, dear. Uh, could I ask you a, a question? Yeah, sure. Uh, is uh, Philippines their students has a lot of homework too? Um, it really depends to the teachers. Uh, expense. It really depends to the teachers. Oh, if the depends. teacher would like to give more homework, then yes, the students will have more homework. But you know what, Andy, here in the Philippines, once it's summertime, the teachers are not allowed to give homework to the students. But during, um, but during the semester or during classes, then yes, teachers will send homework to students, but not a lot, just enough homework for them to do. Yes, uh, but in China we have, in China's in Beijing, we have a lot of homework. Yeah, and that is good because um, by doing your homework, then that is one way to learn your lessons in school. After, uh, yes. after, yeah, it's like the lesson that you had in schools. And that is also one way to apply all the things that you've learned in that specific subject. Oh, I know about uh, 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 is um, Philippine students, <coughs> uh, Philippine students have uh, a short time to have an exam? No, not really short time because most of the students will spend the whole day <laughs> for their examination. Yeah, because there's what we call final exam after every semester, right? Yes. Okay, so especially the primary school students, uh, yeah, primary students, they will spend whole day in taking their exam. One subject is equivalent to one hour exam. Oh. Let's just say in math, they have one hour to finish 50 items um exam of math and it depends to students if they are going to consume the one hour less uh, the one hour time that they that the teachers um let them to finish yeah as long as they have one hour but if it's already one hour then the teacher will say okay whether you're finished or not you have to pass your paper Okay, I know it now, but we have a we have an exam every twice, uh, two times, uh, for a one exam for one to per day. Oh, really? What do you mean exam? You mean like a quiz? Because quiz is shorter than exam. When we say exam, Andy, it is longer than quiz, and exam covers wider scope than uh, quiz. Uh, it's a is a, oh, maybe it's test. Yeah, so a test or a quiz. Yeah, that is normal, Andy. 
Oh, we have a test every day. Yes, and that is normal. <laughs> that is normal. Oh, I I thought I thought it's I thought in China. Uh, I thought in China. Uh, we have. Uh, so high. Uh, for quite for quite see. Uh, to have an exam. Because uh, I'm in grade nine and I'm 14. Yes, OK, so yes, Andy, once your grade is getting higher and higher, the intensity of the lesson is um, getting or in I mean increasing also as you turn into grade 10, especially when you're in college. Oh, college. Yes. Yeah, so once you reach college, then you would really say, oh my God, this is the real battle of my study. Oh, okay, I know it now. So, yeah. Oh. So, but, and, uh, if the, um, the great nine students must to be, uh, to recite the, uh, like the peer, uh, periodic table of the uh, elements. Yes, I did that when I was in grade nine too. I memorized all of the periodic table, even their um, atomic number. Also, uh, did I need to recite uh, the uh, uh, surrounding the electronic uh, electrodes it depends to your teacher for that one andy you can ask your teacher teacher so what would so what are the scope of our recitation is it only the element and its um and its name or do i have to recite the atomic number too then if your teacher would say uh, no need for the atomic number then you can just memorize the name let's just say um what's that c carbon oh yeah c yeah so no need for the atomic number atomic number is usually here oh, this so is only an example two or five i'm not sure with the atomic number Oh, we we are recites the Chinese and uh and the meaning like the uh the oxygen the oxygen uh in Chinese we need to recite is uh yang yeah our breath uh, air that are inside have the uh oxygen so we call it is yang and yang uh. In Chinese, this is oxygen yang, and uh, and we need to uh, to recite uh, the yang. Uh, another, we need to recite two. One is Chinese. One is uh, one is the letter. Yeah, yang, and and another is o. Mm -hmm. Another is o. Because O is oxygen. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. It is more complicated than what I've been through in high school. Also, I uh, how many, how many, uh, uh, how many of the elements did I need to recite? It depends to your teacher, um, Andy. If your teacher requires you to memorize the 102 elements, then yes, you will memorize it. But if your teacher will say, OK, so just memorize at least 30 elements, then yeah. It really depends. So you have to ask your teacher about that. Oh, OK, and uh, in, in Philippines school, is the students are talking uh, English or Filipinos? Yeah, they are talking English in school. Oh, so the Filipinos is uh, it's a Filipinos is talking which uh, area? What do you mean which area? 
So uh, what place? Uh, what place? Uh, did I need to talk Filipinos? Ah, okay. So yes, here in the Philippines, Andy, we have so many dialects. Just like me, I can speak the Philippine language. That's what we call. Yeah, Philippine language. That's that is Tagalog, known as Tagalog. I can speak Tagalog, but that is not my dialect or that is not my mother tongue. At home, we speak different dialect, what which is called Bisaya. I know that you've been in Cebu. Most of the people in Cebu speak Bisaya, but that is not the Philippine language. That's only the dialect. Once you go in Manila. That is the capital city of Philippines. They speak Tagalog, Philippine language. Oh. But oh. all of the schools in Philippines speak English. Aside oh. from the subject Filipino, they have to speak Tagalog. But in math, science, English, what else? History, um, literature they really have to speak english even when giving instruction they have the teachers have to speak english and so do the students in giving their answer they have to speak english oh so uh and there, uh what is mean uh hello in filipinos oh that is kumusta kumusta yeah i'm gonna write that I think the Filipinos is difficult. Yeah, I think it is really difficult if it's not your own language because every language has its own difficulty. Even in China, China, China's language, I would say that their language is difficult. Yeah, but for me, um, hello is um, easy because I because most of my students would say ni hao to me. Oh. Uh, this is a uh, ka, kamusta. Yes, kamusta. Kamusta. That is hello. And this is also sometimes when you say kumusta with question mark, then that means how are you? How are you? Oh, in China is uh, yeah, I will write it. Uh, Yeah, ni hao ma. Yes, yes. Yes. And in China, we uh, in China in China we have a lot of uh we have a lot of uh a localism. Uh, localism. What do you mean localism, Andy? Can you please write the word, Andy? Localism is uh, we have different uh, language in uh, different places. Ah, yeah, you have so many dialects in different location. Localism, yes. A local idiom. Locally, oh, okay. And uh, like pro province cell list. Yes. Yeah, like local language. Yes, exactly. So what do we call that um, ND? That's what that is known as dialect. Dialect. Yes, and it is different from the language. Dialect yeah. is different from language. Yes, especially in our northeast uh, places, there are people are say it's very easy. They say uh, like we have uh, four sentences and he will like the four sentence to be a one sentence. Yeah, that is very, and that is the mo the most difficult uh, language is in the Fujian. Mm, okay. Yeah, in the Fujian. That places are that places language is the most difficult in uh, in China Chinese in China, and there says the language is Minanyu. Yeah, I can. Uh, I'm a Chinese, and I cannot. Uh, I don't understand. Uh, I don't understand the Chinese in uh, in Fujian. Ah, okay. 
why is it that you don't understand Andy? Because the Chinese that they've used exist long time ago. So most of the adult understand that type of Chinese. Yes, and uh, uh, the Beijing is uh, normal. Is uh, the normal uh, the normal language in China? Ah uh, yes, it's, uh, okay. just uh -huh. one. Uh, Beijing and Tianjin. Their two are are the are used the normal Chinese. Okay, so what about the language that is known Mandarin in Andy? Mandarin. Yeah, are you familiar with that Mandarin? Uh, Turk. Uh, could you type it? Ah, uh, hold on. Yes, I will. Because once we talk about Chinese language, then people with are referred to this as oh Mandarin. Yeah, I can speak Mandarin. Mandarin Chinese. Oh, Mandarin Chinese. I I speak is Mandarin Chinese, and uh, I can speak a little, a little. Uh, uh, in mm, other places like in Shanxi, uh, in in northeast uh north is uh, language and uh in shanxi yeah we have two places the first place is shanxi the second place is shanxi oh okay yeah so that is di uh -huh. that is different <clears throat> and i can speak uh language in uh, just just that uh, places and that uh, a lot of places are very difficult yes but maybe you can understand some of the words once once they speak this language or uh, once they speak this dialect uh, yes but uh <clears throat> their typical sentence in at the fujian is hebei it's my dad's hometown mm, okay uh the uh, Hebei's, uh, north in north mm. <clears throat> in northwest. Uh, like I have ten, uh, that we have ten, uh, ten words, and I can I cannot uh, understand our eight words. Oh, OK. So what about this one, Andy? So people who live in southwest of China, so what is their language? Is this um, Sichuan-ness? I don't know how to pronounce Sichuan-ness. Sichuan? Yeah. Sichuan. Sichuan. Yeah, is that a, uh, another dialect? Is this one? -ness? Sichuan. Let's see. Yes. Oh, Sichuan. Uh, Sichuan. Uh, Sichuan. Is there a language? I'm not sure. That's why I ask you. Yeah. So it says in here oh. <laughs> that most of the people who are from south southwest, uh, they their dialect is called Sichuanese. Yeah, Sichuanese. Oh, but yeah, Sichuan is. Uh, I can actually. I don't uh, understand. Uh, Sichuan is in China. Chinese we call it Sichuan. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, it's really complicated because there are so many dialects. Oh, uh, I actually I have uh. Oh. Uh, Actually, the Sichuan language is is difficult too. Uh, I can I don't understand. Like uh, we can say, uh, like uh, uh, like for example, we have uh, we have uh, maybe uh, their sky have some paper. Their paper in uh, in dialect is this one. Paper. This is zhi. Yeah, like this one. This is paper. Yeah. We call it zhi. But uh, their paper in the sky, we can uh, we could say uh, um, 
Maybe the paper is on the sky, but in Sichuan it means it's zhi fei fei. Ah, okay, so... Yeah. Fei, yeah. that means fly. Fly in Chinese is fei. So, this is the most uh, easy. It is in, uh, in Sichuan. Mm. Yeah, and... Uh, Like uh, maybe this bottle of the water is so expensive. Mm. Uh, there's dialect, but uh, uh, but in Chi but in uh the Sichuan that means uh that we call it uh there a bottle of water has have have a lot of money. Yeah have a lot of money we call it, mm -hmm. uh, we say this one or uh uh a lot of money that means or uh a uh, baby a mm -hmm. uh, baby in uh in chinese that means baba Okay, yeah. so what do you mean Chinese? Like the Mandarin Chinese? La, la Mandarin. Okay. How about in Sichuan? Oh, in, uh, in Sichuan is uh, Mandarin. Actually, I don't know. Okay, so in short, Andy, you're trying to say that Sichuan China, uh, Sichuan is and the Mandarin Chinese is different, um, different dialects. Oh. So Mandarin Chinese is your capit, uh, I mean national language. Oh, uh, okay. And in Sichuan, we don't. Uh, in Sichuan, don't have uh, uh, the ka uh, kamus miro, mino. What is Kaku that? Kaku miro, mino. Uh, there I will type it. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. And uh, and in uh, Sichuanese, uh, they don't uh, they don't uh, like their L, their L and N. L and N. Uh, they don't know how to spell it. So uh, the milk uh, in Chinese in uh, ma the Mandarin is Niu Nai. But in the Sichuan, they don't have uh, L and N. They don't spell it. So that is uh, changes. So Niu Nai in uh, Niu Nai is Mandarin. And Liu Lai, this is uh this is in Sichuan. -ness. Ah okay. Yeah, new nai. Yeah, new nai yeah, is Mandarin and in Sichuan is Liu Lai. Liu Liu Lai? Liu Lai Liu is spelled at L. Oh okay Andy. Yeah so thank you for sharing that one Andy. it's good because you know the different dialects in china and especially the differences between sichuan ness and mandarin chinese oh uh, yeah uh, in sichuan is we don't have uh in sichuan don't have uh verlo nasal what is that <laughs> yes like uh xiaoming or xiaomin uh they don't uh uh xiao ming and xiao xiao min uh they don't have the uh verlo nasal so, ah yeah yeah yeah. Uh, yeah so in sichuan the xiao ming and xiao min that 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 too is um 
its name is the people's name. Uh, they cannot change this. No. Uh, uh, they cannot confound. They will confound. Say that again. They will. Uh, they will. Uh, they will confound. Can you please write that word confound, Andy? Okay, confound. Okay. Confound with. Yeah, confound with. Confound with. Yes, confound with. Uh, and uh, this is a. Uh, uh, maybe I will, I will check, uh, in Chinese, the most difficult language. Oh, the first one is Wenzhou. In, in Wenzhou. Mm -hmm. Wenzhou is, is in Oh, wait, Wenzhou. Oh, Wenzhou is in the, uh, is in the Zhejiang. It's close to the, close to the sea. Yeah, the, there is close to the sea and, oh, that is the most difficult. They are difficult than Minnan. Uh, in Wenzhou, ha, uh, okay, I will, I will translate, okay, uh, the material into Wenzhou. Oh, uh, like, thank you. Thank you is, uh, in Mandarin is, xie xie. Yes, yes, yes. But in the Wenzhou, that means they, they. Oh, so that's another dialect, Andy. Yes, they, they. Okay, so thank you for sharing that one, Andy. And it's good because I can see because you're very interested with Chinese um, dialect, and especially different um, dialects of China. But for now, we will continue learning with the words from our vocabulary. Is that okay with you? Yes, it's okay. Okay. So now here at this, let's get let's continue. So please look, listen, and repeat. Fence. Fence. Okay. So do you have fence in your house? In I mean, in your house, Andy, around your house? No, because uh, I'm in the city. Ah, so okay, please enlighten me. You're saying that most of the houses in cities do not have fences. Yeah, uh, uh could I, uh, could I get a, a, pen, a pen? Yeah, sure, so yeah. that you can take down notes. Okay, I got a pen. Okay, great. So here, Andy, um, what are, I mean, I don't know how to ask this. Okay, so you're saying earlier that you cannot see any houses in Beijing that are fences? Oh, uh, not really. In our subdivision, the first floor, uh, some people will have the fence. 
like oh. they need to grow some flowers, some plants, or water in the flowers. Uh, they will get the, uh, they will get uh, uh. Maybe a uh, courtyard. Courtyard. Let yeah, me they check. will get a courtyard. Yeah, in first floor, they will get a courtyard. Mm, okay, just to enclose their area or their le or their property. Okay. Yes. So thank you for sharing that one, Andy. Next we have here. Flower bed. Flower bed. Yes, flower bed. So in your neighborhood, Andy, can you see flower beds? Tell me what does mean flower beds? Flower bed is this one, Andy. Um, it is made up of soil and surrounded with stones. Stones, so, uh, stones. Like this one. We call it flower bed because this is where the flowers grow. Okay. Yes. So another uh, picture of flower bed is like this. Yeah, in the garden, we usually see flower beds. Oh. Like, like this one, Andy. Uh, this is also another example of flower bed. Oh, this is a road. It's not a road. <laughs> it's not a road. It is flower bed because it is in the garden. Oh, okay. Okay, so the green part where <sighs> there is a grass, that's the road or the pathway. Okay, I okay, yes. I got it. But the side of it is what we call flower bed, where the flower grows. Okay, another flower bed here. Like this one, it's just side of the road or side of the pathway. Oh, to protect, to protect the, uh, the, the flowers. flowers. Yes, that's why we put flower bed so that people will not step on the plants or flowers. Oh, I, I thought it, 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 is a, it is a kind of uh, to protect the flowers, um, no. Uh, uh, prevent water uh, evaporation. Say that again, please. Uh, Oh, to don't let the flowers that is so dry. I thought is this. Ah, okay. So that is different thing. So when we say flower bed, this is only uh, for the purpose of beautification. To, uh, to give beauty to the environment. That's why there is flower bed. Another purpose is to protect the flowers or the plants from people so that people will not step on the flower. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, next we have here garage. 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 Okay, so do you have a garage in your house, Andy? No, that is so expensive. I really? Yeah, that so is. So where very... does your yeah. dad park? Oh, uh, we have a we have a car park in our subdivision. It's very huge. Oh, so it is a common parking lot. Right. Yeah, but but uh, the car. Uh, but we don't have any garbage in Beijing. Too expensive. Yeah, because just like what your dad said, the cost of living in Beijing is really expensive. So yeah, I understand that once. And once we build a garage, it also um, takes up some space of the house or the the land. So yeah, it is really expensive, Andy. Okay. Yes. Next, we have in here gate. gate. Okay, what about gate and D? Do you gate. have a gate in your subdivision? Yes, we have. Okay, very good. So, what about 
in your I don't know how to call your house. Is that a house or apartment? Uh, Tira, what is uh, what is uh, uh, you know, are this uh, this tea, this tea, uh, uh, difference to uh, apartment and the uh, house and the house? Okay, so when we say house and D, we own this. Apartment, we just rent it monthly. Oh, house. Yes. Okay, and the structure of the house, a house is typically, it stands on its own. It is separate from other building. It also has a garden or a yard, but with apartment, it is um, connected to other building and it doesn't usually have a yard or a garden. Oh, so the apartment, that means I give you some money and uh, uh, let me to, uh, you same to the hotel. Yes, it's quite the same to the hotel, but um, better than hotel because hotel charge us per night. While apartment, yes. it charge us monthly. Yes, I, I know. Yes, okay. And when we say apartment, Andy, usually it's the space is limited compared to the house, quite bigger. But it really depends because there are apartments too who are wider and bigger than the house. Okay. Yes, so how do you describe the home that you're living right now, Andy, is that an apartment or a house? Uh, it's a house. We oh, bought it. Nice. Okay, great, because you own it. Now, here it is. Next, we have... Hall. Hall. Okay, so when we say hall, Andy, it's like a pathway inside the building or inside a house. Okay, uh, so this okay. is a hall. Yeah, we don't have a hall. I think in that, oh, oh, okay, yeah. But in some of the condominiums or apartment, Andy, so I know that apartment have first floor, second floor, third, fourth, or fifth. Once you go to the upper floors, it always have a hall. Okay. Yeah, even with hotels. Okay, and next we have... Hedge. Hedge. Oh, yes. hedge, I know. Okay, so it's like what we call, I forgot the other term, bushes. Bushes. Yes. So I'm going to write that. Hedge is also called bushes. B bush, bushes. So that is a planet in some places. What do you mean planet? Plant. 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 So when you say plant and D, uh, these are usually green. But when we say planet, it's different from planet is this one. The second one is planet. We have Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Pluto, Jupiter. Oh. Those are planet. Plant, planet, they are different. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. so bushes is like this. Guan Mu Tong. Guan Mu Tong. Oh, so that is, so the bushes is, uh, we don't have uh, any persons to, uh, um, I thought the, the, the bushes is in the forest. No, not really. Some of the houses have bushes, like this one, Andy. Oh, no, 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 like this. Bushes. Oh. Yes, especially the palace. They do have lots of bushes. Okay. Yes, or hedge. So now, do you have any question about gate, hall, and hedge? Uh, yes, I got it. Okay. Now, here it is. Let's take a look at this one we have here, landing. 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 Okay, why is it called landing? Because when we go, once we go up the stairs, we usually make a stop in here. We land. 
this is where we land that's why it's called landing so oh. every stairs always have a landing part okay yeah do you have a stairs at home andy stairs yes we have okay so how many landing can you see in your stairs well uh one two twenty four Oh, wow, because it's a tall building. Nice. Okay, no, no. Now, uh -huh. it's not tall building. It's a, it's a short building. It's about uh, uh, tall. We have the tall stairs. Okay, so here, Andy, this is what we call stairs. We have one, two, three, four, five. That's stairs. But landing is bigger and wider than stairs. This is landing after the stairs or before another stairs that's what we call landing okay yes okay so landing is just part of the stairs oh uh, okay okay and next we have here lawn lawn lawn, lawn is a field where grass grow the grass grow is same to the park Yes, that's right. Same to the park. Okay, next. Path. Path. Okay, so this one, Andy, this is what we call the path or the pathway. And these are what we call flower beds. Flower beds. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, so any questions about these three words? No. Okay. Next, let's take a look with the next one we have here. Pasho. Pas or no, 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 wrong. I'm sorry. Here. Patio. 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 Yes. So patio is where we have a seat, take a sip of a cup of coffee, relax. Yes, that is patio. Do you have a patio at home? No. Okay, so usually we put the patio in the garden. Okay. Yeah, we don't have pond. Okay. Pond. 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 Okay, so what can you see in the pond, Andy? Uh, hotel. Huh? Hotel, yeah, we can see pond in yeah, our hotel. Oh, wow. Okay, do you know that in the pond we can um, grow? I not grow. There is there is some fish. Oh, that grow to fishing. Yes, pond is usually for fishing. In Chinese, this is pond. Chitang. Chitang. Yeah, I, I know pond me, but pond uh, is different I would, from swimming pool. Yeah, I would think uh, I I. Think where do we have a pound? I I didn't uh in pound uh that is far. Yes, and usually ponds are located in the countryside. Yes, that is far. Yes. Okay. So what about this um Andy? Do you know the name of these things in in the pond? Huh? Do you know the name of this? Oh, uh, 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 that's what we call water lilies. Oh, we call it a uh, louse leaf. Yes. Okay. So water lilies can can survive only in the water. Okay. Next. Porch. 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 Okay, so porch is quite the same to the balcony. Same to the balcony. Just quite the same, not really the same, because when we say balcony, it is enclosed with um, flowers. Porch is just outside your house. Then when you step, then you are now um, in the field or you are now outside from your house. So hold on, I'm going to search difference of balcony and porch. Wait a minute. Ah, okay. 
So in here, a balcony is an elevated platform while a porch is at the ground level. Okay, so balcony ND can be placed in the second floor, third floor, but when we say porch, it is always in the ground level of the building or of the yeah, house. Yeah, we, uh, we, have, we have it in our, we, in my mom's home, uh, in our mom's hometown. Oh, nice. Okay, now in here, let's take a look with shutter. 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 So what is shutter, Andy? Uh, that are growing, growing some planets. Say that again. In our, uh, we can have a planet in our shelter. Okay. So when we say shutter, when it comes to houses, architectural design, oh. it's like something that we put in our window to close and open. <laughs> Uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, we have. Uh, I have a. Uh, uh somebody is knocking the door. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Okay. 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 I don't know. Okay, and next we have here sliding door. Sliding door. Sliding door. Yes. So, do you have a sliding door, Andy? Uh, sliding door. We don't have it in our home. Yes, in your house. In your no, house. No, that that is not safe. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, the door in our house here, especially in the second floor, are all sliding. If you can see here at this, Andy. I'm going to turn the camera here. Can you see that? Sliding. Sli oh, oh, that is sliding door because yes. I think it's saying to the gate. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> So sliding door are put inside of the building or inside of the house. Gate is always outside from the house. Yes, it is not safe. Yes, because anybody can come in. Yes, okay, but there is always a lock for the sliding door. Unless for the airport or in the mall, the, their sliding door is automatic. When Before you go in, then it will immediately open. Yeah, because there is something that can detect if the person is about to come in. But in my house sliding door, um, we have the lock. And it is safe. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now next we have in here stairs okay i know you know stairs then we have swimming pool do you also have a swimming pool in your subdivision andy no but we have uh we have a uh we have a fountain Yeah, we have a fountain in our, uh, in, our, in our subdivision. Okay, great. So do you also believe um, about wishing something and throwing something into the fountain? No, like, I, I, didn't, I didn't believe uh, gods or monster. No, I, I mean, uh-huh. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't believe uh, the god because I think if the god are uh what the gods need to do is uh that the peoples are happy right mm -hmm. uh but uh like we have the earthquake okay we have some earthquake and some fires uh or some other things that is uh, people are uh they are hurt their people um that is very uh that is very uh serious but the 
God is not coming. Come. So I think anything is uh, uh, anything is what we we need to uh, uh, strive strive to get. Like I wish, I wish uh, I have a I can have a um, great mark in our uh, exam. Uh, if I wish some God uh, uh, or uh, I would think I'm a wish. Uh, so I don't need to strive uh, to study. Yeah, because you just depend or you just trust it to someone or to yes, the I, God. I, yeah, I'm stress, but, uh, but uh, if you are strive or uh, study hard, we can get a great mark and that would think oh um the god is didn't help me is um is mine yes i do understand your point andy and yeah you are correct because um it is really us who made it happen not someone else oh uh. Yes. Yes. Or you're saying not God. Okay. So thank you for that one, Andy. Now next we have here um task one. So in task one, I want you to listen to the words below, then put them into two groups. Okay. So those are more likely to be a part of a house and part of a garden. So please listen carefully. Lesson four A, exercise three. Attic, balcony, basement, cellar, conservatory, drive, extension, fence, flowerbed, garage, gate, hall, hedge, landing, lawn, Path, patio, pond, porch, shutters, sliding doors, stairs, swimming pool. Okay, so now which words here are part of a house, Andy? part of the house okay example oh attic attic is part of a house it is usually upstairs okay balcony balcony is a part of the house very good what else uh base basement basement is a part of the house nice uh Sarah is part of the house too. That's right. Conver, uh, con conser, uh, conservatory. Con conservatory. Uh, uh, is this in the garden? Okay. Let's find out. It is still part of the house. Okay, and drive. Drive is uh, is in the part of the house. Okay, so I think drive is part of the garden. What about extension? Uh, ex extension is part of the house. Yes, you're correct. What about fence? <laughs> uh, fence is in the garden. That's right. Okay, so what about um landing 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 oh i'm sorry flower bed i'm sorry oh. flower bed oh flower bed is in the garden okay garage gar garage mm. a garage is a part of the house okay what about gate a gate is part of the house Okay, what about hall? Hall is part of the house. 
Okay, nice. What about um, hedge? Hedge is in the garden. Great, Andy. So in here, Andy, we will just stop by here because I still have next class. So we will continue next week. I uh, tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining our class, Andy. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Okay. Bye, bye, -bye. Andy. Okay, bye bye.